Hi, Taurus. How are, oh, did y'all see that? Let's see what that was. Seven of Pentacles. We'll just remember it. <laughs> it's kind of like planting a seed and then sitting there waiting for it to grow, watching. It doesn't seem like it's ever going to grow if you sit there and watch it. So, I don't know. Waiting for something. Maybe a little anxious for something to happen. Something you've worked for. How are you guys? Let's do your reading. This is a general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please just take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, please hit like, comment, say hi, tell me where you're watching from so I know where we're all. I love to connect the dots. So let's see, what is going on for Taurus? You and the person on your mind or the person coming towards you. Overall energy. Hmm, the Empress. And the Sun. That's mother child. Sometimes it could just be nurturing. Sun is also happiness, growth. Somebody might be waiting for a return. Wow. Oh, that's not the Empress. That's the Queen of Wands, and now we have the King of Wands. How about that? Wow, so major passion. Look at that. Wow. Um, King and Queen of Wands. So we have a match. Soul connection. Um, looks kind of like a power couple. Let's look at your energy and then theirs. Patience, balance. This is really kind of uncanny. Do you guys see what's happening here? Look at how similar these cards are. And look at the similarity in these cards. And not to mention, we've got the sun here too. So something. Hmm. Something. I don't know. Seems very profound happening here. Let me see something real quick. I was trying to find that. The book to that here is the book to this deck because this deck is very unique. So we have, I mean, I'm just kind of blown away. Look at the wings. We have the, the temperance card and the, um, the lover's card, Gemini and Sagittarius. I'm just not sure what, I feel like there's something extremely profound and I just don't have it yet, but let's just keep going. Wow. So this, these two cards would in, indicate somebody, you, if this is your energy, unless it's reversed, but that would indicate somebody, um, you know, trying to temper their, their, like not making a drastic decision. Also getting the, an, the energy or a vibe of somebody pretend, not, pre, I don't want to say pretending, but just kind of acting like they're a lot more um, angelic or innocent than they actually are. Hmm, that's so weird, right? Okay, so Six of Cups, that's a return. She's like, oh, hello, it's just me swimming in the canal. <laughs> Six of Cups is a return. This is the person on your mind or the person coming towards you juggling of pentacles 
balance. I'm a little floored, High Priestess. Okay, so the person that you're thinking about or the person coming towards you, if this is someone new, it, that appears to be somebody that you know. Um, somebody that wants to come towards you and is not showing it, is pretty much playing it cool. So there is an element here of a false mask, but not like in a, not in a, like deceptive, ugly way. It's in a kind of like trying to really amp up, show their, their positive side, maybe kind of downplaying their fire, acting more innocent, angelic, you know, than they actually are. Okay, let's see here. We have the Ace of Swords. So that's truth, clarity, and the okay. So so the okay. So in the recent past, we have the truth about something being either unclear or totally there's a there's a deception here. Somebody pretending to be something they're not. But again, I don't think it's necessarily in a deceptive way. It's more of a pretending they don't notice or they don't, you know, somebody playing coy. <laughs> this, is very, this is a very young, it's kind of like that nervous crush energy. It's like a crush. This is a, like a crush. And the like, it's like, oh yeah. Oh, well, hello. Fancy meeting you here. I'm just happen to be swimming in the canal. <laughs> it took me three trains and a bus to get here, but how interesting, how, you know, what, how, what a coincidence that I just happened to run into you here. Do you see what I'm saying? Something like that. This looks like a crush. <laughs> this is funny. I almost bent the card. King of Cups. So, okay. So there's a, there's a, there's like a crush. Two people, this might be a coworker, but there's two people that really are into each other, but like nobody's making a move. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. And, and you, I think you, you or them, somebody's really, really fighting the urge. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Okay, the fool. So there is going to, this is going to, so whatever, okay, quick reading. Okay, we don't even have to get into it too much. This is just a really quick light reading. There is a crush. You have a crush on someone. They have a crush on you. You're both too shy to let it be known. It's kind of got a really sweet element. It might be because you work together. <laughs> but it's going to come out. So let's see if we can get some advice for you. But the uh, communication has just been like at a standstill. Like, no, everybody's afraid to make the first move. Eight of Cups. Hmm, I don't know why. I don't know what that's about. Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away from something. You know, I just picked up something strange, like a, maybe like a, a gathering or, I don't know, like a, it could be like a, even at the in the kitchen at work or at the coffee, you know, at the coffee uh, machine. Um, the coffee maker, like somebody plays coy and it's like they <laughs> walk away when the other one's acting interested or something like that. There's something like that. And then the other one's like, oh, I thought like one person gets excited thinking the other one's going to show some interest. Like, and then the other one gets nervous and walks away and then it throws the other one off. This is just like really silly, but cute. But yes, you're both interested. This is all about a little, a little crush, but it is going to turn into something. There is going to be something new and it's going to be light, but there is, is looks like love. There's a, a king, of king of cups. This has a potential. <laughs> Do we have any advice? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Look. Three of cups. Maybe do stuff with friends. Maybe get to do a get together that has more than one person. You know, this is plunge forward. The three of cups is friendships. This is somebody that is in a group of friends or a work environment or a, you know, a social environment, social or work environment. 
so you could you know make some progress with them through um, like a group gathering I think you're gonna have to give them a little bit of a of a sign <laughs> What else? That's <laughs> so cute. Nine of Cups. Yeah, make a little gesture. Nothing, you know, don't do anything major, major, but make a little gesture. Do some flirty, flirty stuff, okay? Um, mm, let's do... This is so cute. That's a really cute ring. I've never had a ring like that. I've seen uh, um, other readings like that. I love my body. Embrace your body. So it says, I create peacefulness in my mind, and my body reflects this peacefulness as perfect health. Love it. So, you know, put something cute on. Make sure you look good, feel good. You, I just... We just feel better when we take care of ourselves and we dress cute and we, um, you know, have makeup on and just present ourselves, you know, when we keep, keep ourselves nice. We feel better, we're more confident. That's what I think this might be, um, you know, because when you put that time into getting ready and looking good and smelling good and all that, you feel different, you carry yourself different. Other people react to you different. Your body language is different. And so, therefore, your body language is different. So, not only does your body language affect how other people view you and treat you and look at you, but it is proven science that our body language affects how we feel about ourselves. Okay. It's pretty... I'm gonna, I want to do a video about it. It's so powerful. Wow. I love my body and I love life. Look at the flowers. This reading is so congruent, isn't it? I mean, look at these. It's powerful. Look at that. Those two and then these two. These are the first five cards out. Passion, passion. So, and then these two. I love my body. I love life. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want life to give to me. I am glad to be alive. I love life. You guys could take a screenshot if you want. But this is basically, you know, it, it's a great reminder. Look at the flowers. What do you get? Oh, and in the pre-shuffle, remember my very first card. Remember I said something about planting a seed and then staring at it, watching it, watching it, watching it to grow, waiting for it to grow. That was our very first card. And then look at this. It's growing flowers. This is a pretty, I mean, I mean, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> now we, and we begin with the planting of seeds, and this is where we end up. So I think overall the message is you have a crush. They have a crush on you too. But there's a, a strong, strong message from spirit here to, you know, water yourself. You know, you're basically like a plant. We need food, love, light, sunshine, you know. So this is all about, you know, treating yourself, being good to yourself, treating yourself, getting making yourself look good, feel good, smell good, um, because you'll carry yourself different. It's, it's self-care. You're going to get out of your body and out of your life what you put into it. I do love this reading. Very light and sweet, but yeah, all about a crush. All right, you guys, let's talk in the comments. I love you, and I will see you soon. Bye, Taurus.